Um, welcome. Welcome to learning what's new in CCP4 in 2020. In this session, we have, after my initial overview, we have three talks on various aspects of CCP4, which are new. And David Waterman will give a talk on dials to the second coming of, of the data processing software in CCP4. Then Hugh Jenkins will give, from Newcastle will give a talk on the new um, validation and deposition tools in the CCP4 user interface. And finally, uh, Ronan Keegan will talk about CCP4 cloud. Um, this afternoon and tomorrow at, at lunchtime, we will have a number of so-called lunchtime bites, which are uh, uh, tutorial sessions given by the developers of, of the individual software packages uh, included in CCP4. And also, we have um, a lunchtime bite on CCP EM the electron microscopy package, and one lunch time by on from CCD, CCDC in room three today. Um, so we have nine bytes today and another set of bytes tomorrow. This will start at two o'clock, which is 45 minutes after the beginning of the lunch break. So you should have enough time to have lunch before these sessions. So you should pick any topic which you find most interesting. And if you are still uncertain what, what they are all about, or if you don't find the rooms, then ask anybody who has who's wearing the CCP4 logo. And there should be some more information on them in your welcome backs as well. Um, so what is CCP4? It's a software suite with tools for all steps of the structure solution, starting from data collection to data processing and reduction and phasing, density modification, and model building, refinement, structural analysis, and now, now also deposition of your data. Um, and it includes uh, a number of third-party packages, such as the ShellX software suite, and ArpWab model building program, Arkimbodo, and Good, of course, as well, is distributed with CCP4. Um, the next release is coming very soon, but it's not there yet. But you can already download it from, from this um, URL. If you want to test it. Um, <clears throat> thanks. Um, this will include a, a new, completely new program called GAMI, and it will have a, a DIOS 2 and CCP for Cloud, and Arkin Boulder will have a major update, and Code Not Mod 9 will be included and improved validation and deposition tools. And there are also many things new under the hood, as it were. The architecture will change somewhat. The, it will be compliant with both Python, Python 3 and, and Qt5. And these are quite substantial changes which justifies uh, fresh release instead of having um, a 
just updates to the previous release. So it's coming very soon. We have, still have to do some test, testing and we have to buy the champagne as well. Uh, GAMI is a, what is it? It stands for General Macromolecular Input Output. It's an um, open source library for uh, structural bioinformatics. So it makes it easy to manipulate data in many different formats. Uh, I guess it's mostly a tool for, for the developers who can, uh, it can unleash, unleash their creativity to do all kinds of things with, with the data. And Martin himself has created a number of uh, demos or detours as he calls them showcasing uh, what kind of things you can do. Um, for example, there's a, a periodic table where you can click, click the element and it will show you all structures in PDP which include that element. So it's just an example of what, what kind of things you can do with, with GEMI. And there are also a number of uh, research projects in, in CCP4, uh, for example, uh, we are developing tools for electron diffraction experiments. So the CCP4 is becoming a suite, software suite, not only for X-ray crystallography, but also for electron uh, crystallography and methods, uh, advanced methods of bioinformatics are being developed also such as uh, the covariance analysis which can be used to improve several uh, methods used in crystallography. Machine learning algorithms are being developed for solving the phasing problem in, in some in challenging cases. And there are other research projects to enhance um, existing methods as well. Now, CCP4 is being used by many groups in most, uh, in many countries in, on most continents. And we also organize a number of workshops every year in many places. You can learn more about these uh, events from our website. Um, so this is, a, I think, a fairly complete list of workshops this year, upcoming workshops this year. The, the Thailand workshop is closed for registration now, but the Israel workshop is open for registration. There is, there will be a, another workshop in South Africa. And every year we also have a workshop in, in the USA at APS. There will be a workshop at the IUCR conference in Prague. And every year we also have a, a workshop in South America. This year it will be in Uruguay in September. Then there will be uh, three workshops in Asia, Japan, India, and China. And every December we'll also have, we have the workshop at Diamond Light Source in Titcot, where also the CCP4 core group is based. So the Israel workshop um, is open for registration. It's a joint workshop uh, by CCP4, Ben Korean University, uh, Diamond Light Source, and CCP EM. So it includes a uh, practical data collection and 
a full course on structure solution using macromolecular crystallography and electron microscopy. Uh, so if you are interested, uh, check this uh, website, which you can also, you can find the URL also on, on the monitors at the reception. And also tell your colleagues who might be interested in, in applying for this workshop. Um, the, the organizers, uh, Anat Shahar and Eugene Christina, they are he, uh, here available at this meeting also and available for informal uh, requests. And other resources or information include the CCP4 bulletin board. So if you are not a member yet, so I encourage you to subscribe to that. It's a good source of ex expert advice on all kinds of things related to crystallography. Whereas the CCP4 help desk is, is the best place to send any bug reports or, or requests if you have any problems running, running CCP4 software. Uh, CCP4 user community wiki is a collection of uh, acquired wisdom on, on all kinds of things related to protein uh, crystallography. And the user interface has uh, extensive documentation and tutorials as well. And, and the CC before web page also has a lot of information. By the way, there will be a new version of the website very soon. So don't be, don't be too surprised if, you, if it starts looking completely different. Uh, last but not least is CC before online, which is a website where you can run uh, a number of CCP4 pipelines remotely through the web. So you can, these pipelines, they typically require quite a lot of computing power, which we, which we provide. We have a cluster where you can run these pipelines using CCP4 online. And we have a Twitter account, CCP4 underscore MX, where you can also, you can find the latest news on anything related to CCP4. That's the acknowledgement. So, so CCP4 is a collaborative project, which is contributed by many uh, groups. The collaboration is coordinated by the core group in DITCOT. And um, there are groups um, in Cambridge, and York, University of York, and at Diamond, and Leiden, and uh, there are other groups contributing as well. So I think this probably isn't a complete list. But yeah, hopefully includes most people. All right, thank you for your attention. So we move on to the next talk.